people with eating disorders in general don't want eating disorders. We like to think like, oh, that would never happen to me. Any one of us could develop an eating disorder. We're no different. I'm Ashley McCann, and I'm a therapist in Jacksonville, Florida. I work with an eating disorder center and in private practice. Individuals with anorexia, bulimia nervosa, binge eating disorder, all of these individuals with eating disorders likely experience a considerable amount of preoccupation with food. What I'm going to eat, what I'm not going to eat, when and where. It might be feeling that I don't belong or I don't fit unless my body looks a certain way. But it's not that that is really what the person is looking for. What the person is looking for is a sense of belonging, of connection, of love, feeling worthy or valuable, of feeling safe or secure. Oh, there are so many. They're about vanity, that they're simply about food, that people should just be able to stop, that people are different than us. ARFID is an acronym that stands for Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder. Previously known as Selective Eating Disorder, this was introduced in 2013 with the DSM-5. ARFID is a diagnosis uh, in which we see people significantly restricting what foods they eat, the number of foods they eat, how much food they eat. But the difference between picky eating and someone with ARFID is that that anxiety, it leaves people feeling powerless. While someone who as a picky eater might not like to eat certain things, they won't be shut down by the idea of doing it. ARFID is similar to most eating disorders in that there is this intense underlying anxiety. And the way in which it's different is that it's not restrictive to meet the end of um, a body image disturbance or dysmorphia. There's no drive for thinness. When we have an experience of trauma, again, we might feel out of control, powerless and helpless. So trauma can really prime us to develop all kinds of maladaptive patterns. And eating disorders really can operate in the same way. People can use them to numb, to get out of a feeling, or for some it's to create a different feeling state. But for all of them, you know, that, that common thread is that underlying anxiety or pain or discomfort that suffering that they're trying to alleviate. The longer someone has had an eating disorder, the more deeply ingrained those patterns and behaviors are, the more treatment they might need. The paths to recovery might vary. Where there's a clear and present trauma, we might be looking initially at doing trauma therapy and then food reintroduction. And when it's sensory, we might go right at food exposure. Whenever I'm working with an individual with any kind of eating disorder, I'm working as well with a doctor and a dietitian. And so together, we're looking at labs and um, making recommendations based on what is needed for balance. Depending on where someone lives, what kind of insurance they have, or what their financial status is, treatment may or may not be accessible. Another barrier to treatment for many individuals is simply awareness. Uh, being unaware that ARFID is a diagnosis, for example, because so many people, especially males with eating disorders, there's shame, there's hiding. There is also fear that there's not treatment for them. And for some, that can be more of a reality because of access. I do not think in general society has a healthy relationship with food. The more we are taught to restrict, the more we are likely to overeat. The more we tell ourselves that things are good and bad and right and wrong, the more we increase our anxiety and the more we are going to have preoccupation and distress related to food and eating. The support of others is often vital, and it's something that can be very challenging because for someone who's not experienced this, it can be very difficult to understand. Friends and family can do their best to ask questions to try to understand from the perspective of their loved one. The more they understand how to support someone, the better we'll see recovery rates.